There are two types of gaming video clips you will probably watch most. One, clips of in-game action, and two, instructional videos, tutorials, to teach you how to improve your gaming skills. The first is the most challenging. I killed him, I killed him. He's dead. That's one. Oh, I flanked okay. him. Bastion, Bastion's going nuts. Oh we my need to kill gosh. that Bastion in the middle. Yeah, Rob, careful, there's a lot Bastion's of people over there on the right. Watching the middle and just ruining us. Oh! Oh, I mean, here they come. Oh, watch out, this here person, they come this to person. Save the day. What are the players saying? I'm not completely sure myself, because they often all speak at the same time. Also, the language is completely natural and unplanned, leading to frequent surprises. Tutorials, on the other hand, are usually read from a script by a single person. Thus, they are better organized and easier to understand. Another thing I recommend is to constantly communicate with teammates. Not only is it going to make the game more satisfying and rewarding, but it's also a key component of Rainbow Six Siege. I cannot tell you how much of a disadvantage I feel when no one's talking on my team. The language is still very fast, however. Fortunately, there are two things you can do to make listening easier. First, you can see a text of what is being said by clicking on CC, closed captions or subtitles, or opening the text from the settings menu. This works best with tutorials. The closed caption system doesn't understand in-game talk very well. Secondly, you can slow the video down through the settings menu. This works well for both tutorials and in-game talk. Click on Speed, and to start with, choose 75%. You can go even slower, but then the language sounds very unnatural and strange. Let's look at an example. We'll begin with an excerpt from a tutorial without any help at all. Then we'll turn on the closed captions, and then slow down the speed, first to 75, then to 50, and then back again. You'll see the settings menu in the bottom right side of the screen. We think you'll agree that 50 is too slow. The speaker sounds like he has had too much alcohol to drink. It's there because they're going to move. As soon, as soon as they spot the drone, they're going to move. But if they don't move because they haven't spotted it, you pretty much get a free kill. Drones are incredible. Knowledge is power in Rainbow Six Siege, and drones are one of the best ways of going about it. Another thing I recommend is to constantly communicate with teammates. Not only is it going to make the game more satisfying and rewarding, but it's also a key component of Rainbow Six Siege. I cannot tell you how much of a disadvantage I feel when no one's talking on my team. When I ask, hey, where'd you get taken out? Where, where is the enemy? And all I'm met with silence, I feel very vulnerable. As soon as people are making these call outs and I get a general idea of where the enemy's positioned, I can take advantage of that knowledge and hopefully come out on top. If you haven't noticed the trend yet, Siege is more about intelligence than it is about quick reflexes and killing the enemy with awesome accuracy. That is a very large component, but you need teamwork, you need communication, and figuring out where the enemy is way more important in this game, at least in my opinion, and one of course, one of the best ways of doing that is having communication. Finally, listen more than once to difficult parts of a video clip. The sentence in the video should get easier each time you hear it. Not only is it going to make the game more satisfying and rewarding, but it's also a key component of Rainbow Six Siege. Not only is it going to make the game more satisfying and rewarding, but it's also a key component of Rainbow Six Siege. Not only is it going to make the game more satisfying and rewarding, but it's also a key component of Rainbow Six Siege. Be sure to subscribe. Learn to understand and use real English.